Hello, hello. I think we're on. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to chapel. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to give everybody a chance to uh, maybe sign in this morning. And uh, we're so excited that we can have chapel live today. We're trying something new. Uh, we're having our preschool chapel, chapel here in my home. And so we're going to wait and give people a few more chance to, uh, uh, to sign in and make sure everybody is up. Oh, it looks like somebody is, is joining us. All right. Well, good morning. Good morning. We're going to give folks a few more opportunity with the little ones. As people are signing on, again, I'm Keith Cox. I am the pastor here at Clarksville First UMC. As you can see, we have our, our little puppy here. His name is Bucky. I'll make sure we, we talk to Bucky a few times here throughout chapel. And so uh, I'm sure he's going to want to sit by me <laughs> as, as we have our chapel. I'm going to put him back. And I got him his little stick, so he should behave pretty good. He'll, he'll sit right there and just uh, watch me talk to y'all. But it's good to see all, all the family signing up. And uh, it's 11 o'clock, so let's officially... Uh, get chapel started. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we want to welcome you and your family into our home. Um, every week, uh, we've uh, we, you've allowed us to come into your home for chapel. And now that we know we won't officially be going back uh, to preschool, that makes my, makes me really sad. I know all our teachers are really sad that we wanted to hopefully get back, but we're not going to be able to go back. But you can still do things in your home. Uh, your teachers are still sending you opportunities and classwork, and we'll still have chapel um, every Wednesday. And who knows, maybe we'll even go through the summer just to uh, be consistent with everybody. Um, but since since you get to watch me in your home every week, I thought, why don't you? Why don't I invite you into my home? And I have my little my little puppy here, Bucky. And uh, so, welcome to the Cox home. Uh, my wife is a teacher, so she's over in another room, and she is teaching. Her students, and uh, so we have a, a 18 year old, a 21 year old. They're out. They're they're doing some of their work as well, and so uh, this is a good spot here in our living room uh, to have chapel. It's been a joy to see you and your family on Facebook and how you posted pictures of watching chapel. So continue to do that, and uh, so we can see that you and your children are are participating in chapel. So here we go. As we do every week, let's wiggle our hands. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Clap. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Clap. Okay, let's pray together. Here we go. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for my mommy, for my daddy. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. Thank you for my grandparents. Thank you for all my family. Thank you for my school, for my teachers. Thank you for all my friends, and thank you for Jesus. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, now we, we want to make sure we light our candle. And so I'll light it for us today, and every, every week we light the candle, which invites the Holy Spirit. And we know that Jesus is the light of the world, and so it's important every week that we light the candle. Again, uh, for those who are just tuning in, uh, you you get to worship with me this morning in, in our home. And here's here's my little puppy again. His name is Bucky. So everybody always say say hey Bucky. Hey to the boys and girls. All right, I'll leave you alone. You go back and you have fun with your little stick. There you go. All right, so let's sing some songs, but we have to warm up. So we're gonna start off. We're gonna warm up our voices. Remember, we go me 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 you 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 you. All right, let's warm up. Let's start off with. Uh, ABCs. Let's do an ABC song. That way we can uh, we can warm up our voices. Here we go. On three. One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right, everybody clap. Good job. For those who are new, we want to welcome you here. And again, we got Bucky sitting with us today. And 
our little puppy. Hopefully he'll he may sing with us some, but he he's enjoying his little chew toy. So we'll go. So now let's see this little lot of mine. Here we go on three. One, two, three. This little lot of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little lot of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little lot of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Hide it on a bushel. No. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it on a bushel. No. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it on a bushel. No. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, yay! Good job, good job. Let's sing Jesus Loves Me. Here we go. One, two, three. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Ready? Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Yeah. Here we go. We, we usually end with making melody, and hopefully your brothers and sisters will sing you with us and get your mom and dad who's ever home. Again, to, to the parents, thank you so much uh, for allowing us to worship with your, with your child or children as we sing. And this is our last song. This is called Making Melody. We do it slow. We do it fast. We do it super, super fast. And then we go back and we sing it slow again. So it goes like this. Here we go. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart, making melody in my heart for the joy of the Lord. Now let's go. Who wants to go fast? Now raise your hands. Raise your hands. Who wants to go fast? Come on, let me see your hands. Who wants to go fast? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart for the joy of the Lord. All right. Who wants to go super, 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 super fast? Come on, let me see your hands. Wave, wave, wave. Who wants to go fast? Here we go. Deep breath. Ready to go. Make it melody in my heart. Make it melody in my heart. Enjoy the Lord. Man, I'm tired. Even, even Bucky. <laughs> Bucky got tired from that. Look at him. All right, here we go. One more time, real slow. Here we go. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. For the joy of of the Lord. All right, good job, good job. All right, listen, get get comfortable because we have a little Bible story we want to share. You know, last Sunday was really great. Uh, this past Sunday was the best Sunday ever. It was known as Easter Sunday, which means that Jesus is resurrected. That means Jesus is alive. I want you to say what we say. Jesus is alive. Say it. Jesus is alive. And then what happened was after he rose from the dead, he he's no longer in the tomb. He spent several days talking to his friends. And one day, he went, and I story today, let me get real close. There you go. Jesus went to go see his friends. But look, they're afraid. They're hiding. Look, they're scared because they're behind locked doors. They don't know what to do. They're so afraid. But then Jesus walks in. Look at Jesus. See in the white robe there? He walks in, and, they, and, the, and the Bible book says that they were so happy. They were overjoyed. That Jesus was alive. They thought he was a ghost to begin with. He said, no, I'm not a ghost. It's me. It's me. And they're like, wow, you, you are alive. And so we are so excited and that Jesus is alive. And so they, they had a meal together and he talked to them. And then the next day he said, look, it's time for me to go home. It's time for me to go to heaven. And, and, and one of the disciples said, well, how do, how do we go there? And he says, well, you know the way. And then Jesus says, I am the way the truth, and the life. Can you say that? Say, I am the way. Say, I am the way. There you go. I am the truth. Say, I am the truth. And I am the life. And Jesus, what that means, what, what that tells us is that, that when, to go to heaven, 
But we just got to believe in Jesus, believe that, that he's alive, that he's not dead, and believe that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And so he's telling his friends right here, he said, I'm going to go home to be with God, to be with my father. See right there? He's going. And so then the next day, they look up and see right there, there's these two angels. See the, the two two men right there in their white clothes? There was two angels, and they and, and everybody was looking up. So everybody look up, look up, look up, look up. They were looking up, and those angels said, why are you looking up? He said, guess what? I got good news. Just like right now, Jesus is going up to heaven. One day, one day he's coming back. He's coming back. Now, what's important is that we knew that Jesus had to go up into heaven and to be with his Father, to be with God, but he didn't leave us alone. He left, he left us all a very special friend, and that special friend is called the Holy Spirit. And next Wednesday during chapel, I'm going to talk more about that special friend. You know, like when you have a best friend, you have a best friend. Sometimes maybe your brothers or sisters are your best friend, or you have best friends at, at school. Well, Jesus wanted to leave us a, a, a best friend, and that best friend is, is known as the Holy Spirit. And next week, we're going to talk more about, about how we have the Holy Spirit to help us and just so that we know that we're never alone. I know right now this is, this is still kind of kind of different being home and having to do school at home and, and being with your mom and dad and your brothers and sisters, but you're doing a great job. Uh, we're very proud of you. Your teachers love you. We love you here at the church. Continue to listen and obey your parents. Uh, continue to share with your brothers and sisters. And thank you so much uh, for having chapel with me in my home. And next week we'll have another live. Let me let me let Bucky say bye, everybody. All right, Bucky, say bye. All right, tell the kids bye, bye. Bucky says bye. Y'all say bye, Bucky. Bye, Bucky. He'll be with us every week probably because he likes to hang out with me. So let me pray for us right now. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that Jesus is alive and that we know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life and that he's in heaven right now with, with his Father, with God. And we know one day he's coming back, but we know that we're not alone and we, we have the promise of, of the Holy Spirit. And we'll talk more about that next week. So in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All righty. Thank you very, very much. Let's blow the candle out. Let's count one, two, three. Oh. There we go. All right, y'all have a great week, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.